Boom. How good is that? Oh my goodness. Well, g'day everyone and welcome back to another David Maxwell Golf video where today we're gonna to be doing something super fun. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to hit a stinger or how I hit a stinger. So there's a couple of ways that I do it and obviously this is gonna be predominantly around a two iron, but you can do it with multiple clubs. You can do the same shot for different applications with like a four iron or a seven iron you know, more of a sting or punch kind of shot to get you out of trouble. So why don't we hit the range? I'm gonna have the shot traces on and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. But first, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the bell notification and leave a positive comment. Let's get on the range. Alrighty guys, so here I am. What I'm gonna do first, cause I'm just gonna start with the two iron. I'm actually gonna warm up oh, my swing. Just with the stack, I fell over there, obviously. It's good to get the body loose. So I've got the stack system. If you haven't seen this, I'll put a link in the description below. So this is just to get the body warm and moving. Basically, the way that I personally hit a stinger, there's two main applications for it. If I'm hitting one where I'm off the tee, what I'll do is I don't necessarily put the ball a whole lot back in my stance. I know a lot of people do and that's completely fine if that's the way they do it and it works. What I'll do is I'll turn the club face down a little bit and if I shift my body weight position forward, it actually brings the ball automatically back in my stance anyway. And because my body weight is going forward more into this left hip here, at impact, it's easier for me personally, as somebody who can tend to flip a bit at the bottom, to keep that shaft lean and keep the club face closed and have that angle of attack that's quite steep that squeezes the ball out nice and low and you get that low draw. The other way, if I'm trying to hit a stinger fade, well actually what we'll do is we'll, we'll start hitting some low draws first so let's just see how that works. Alright so the shot tracer is turned on, what we're going to do, we're just going to start hitting some low draws and one thing I will say is I'll go up normally but then I'll try and keep my hands low all through impact and through the swing so as low as I can and get it really squeezed out there. So we'll aim sort of just right at that candy stripe flag, the low sting and draw. Boom, how good is that? Like if you're trying to hit something into the wind that's just that low bullet draw, I mean, you really don't get any better than having a tool iron that has the ability to be able to do that. So. Let's jump now into the other way that I hit it, which is more so if I'm trying to hit a low cut fade, say that I've pushed it right off the tee or something like that, and I'm on a par five, but I still wanna get it down there as far as I can. I'll put the ball actually still a little forward in my stance. I'll open my stance, and I'm still gonna have that forward lean into this left hip. But as I'm coming down, I'm just letting that club face be more open and really squeezing it through to get that low stinger cut. I mean, that's just absolutely beautiful. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get some, <laughs> what I call glory shots on the camera here with a tracer. Let's see how low we can get this, like those real grass cutters and uh, see how cool we can make these tracers look. <laughs> Isn't that just awesome? Let's go again. Oh my goodness, that one was a little high, but that's still an awesome punch wind shot. Just that nice draw. There's two draws, let's go into the fades. Really get that weight forward with the fades. Whew. I mean, the shot, the shot really does become quite easy when you practice it in this way for me. Now I know, like I said, there's other ways of hitting stingers. So I'm not saying this is the only way or the monopoly on it at all. This is just the way that I've found that is really easy and works for me. And that's again, just that little bit higher, but that's still such a low bullet trajectory. It's a weapon of a shot to have on a golf course. So let's try and jump into something a little bit different now. You might say, well, Dave, I don't hit a two iron. I got hybrids, my highest um, iron or my lowest iron, whichever way you want to look at it, is a four iron. So 
Does it work with the four iron? Let's see. Let's go four iron. So exactly the same principle. There's nothing different whatsoever. You're hitting it the exact same way. Okay, that was just a really good shot. I mean, how good is that? Like that's a four iron. If you're hitting a low punch, again into the wind or off the tee or you want you to get yourself you know that 200 220 down there with a the rollout there's a perfect four iron draw low punch shot into the wind let's go now with a cut same thing oh my goodness isn't that absolutely beautiful like it's easy really so the one thing that I will say with golf in general is don't overcomplicate it find something that works stick with it don't bother changing it. Don't have a million swing thoughts in your head. Just stick to what works and what is simple. That's the best way to play golf. I've got a seven iron, do the same thing. All right, so seven iron here. You're not necessarily gonna be looking at a seven iron to be hitting it as a full on stinger like you would a four iron or a two iron. The reason why I'm showing you this application for the shot is if you've hit that wayward shot, you need a punch out, but you still wanna get it down there in the fairway. You don't wanna have that 50 meter punch out and still leave yourself a long shot into a par four or five. This is where that comes in. Now I do abbreviate this a little bit. It's still the exact same foundations. I just take the swing a little bit easier and a bit shorter coming through the shot. So you can see that trajectory is quite low. The swing was a bit abbreviated. It's gonna get me back out there in the fairway. Alrighty, there's a low cut. So guys, hitting a stinger doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be one of those miracle shots where you might get one out of 20 times. It is in fact a shot that you can play quite regularly without too much hassle. It can get you off the tee, it can keep it low under the wind, it can get you out of trouble. It's a fantastic shot to have as a stock shot in your bag. Don't overcomplicate it, just keep it easy. And hey, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, leave a positive comment, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.